Right, okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something a little bit different. Um, it's a DJ controller, a DDJ SB. This is my friend Paul from Rock Family 2020, also here on YouTube. Um, I'll stick a link down below if you want to go and check him out. He, uh, he DJs loads of classic rock and stuff, uh, good lad. But um, obviously needs more subscribers, so if you can help out, that would be ace. But um, yeah, he, he bought this on eBay a while ago. And um, it's got no power on it. So what I'm going to do is obviously cut away, take the back off, and we'll have a look inside. Okay, we're in. <laughs> this looks a lot more, um, well, a lot more in-depth than I was expecting. Well, I presume under here we've got our little power board. So let's get that unscrewed. Now, I'm kind of getting the impression this may have been opened before because apart from those three screws there, there's nothing holding these down. So, that's a little bit sketchy. <clears throat> right. Come on, old bean. Oh, you get it. There we go. Right, let's disconnect these. And hoy this right out of the way. Because this is hopefully where a problem lies. Now, I've got a cable. Uh, I suppose we could probably undo these other screws and just have a good look at the board. Now, I know for a fact, because Paul pointed it out, that um, one of the uh, phono socket port things has um, something stuck in it. So, that obviously needs to get sorted out. <clears throat> that could be the entire problem. It could be shorting something out. But I'm not going to know. But I think the first thing I'll do is try and get that out of there. And not lose screws. So the stubby one goes in the USB side. Okay. Right. It's not really very much on the back. Just some solder points. So, yeah. I presume one of these is negative and one of these is positive. So, I guess let's, um, how to get something out from here that's stuck. Not like that. Where's the old testy tester thing? So all the way down and touches that and obviously that isn't conductive but how do we get that out will that um
So let's bend that back a little bit. Can I bend it back a little bit more? And then can I... Oh, look at that. Right. That's got you out. So let's squeeze that back in there. Maybe with a little bit more force and a plumb, but <clears throat> that has got that broken piece out. So I should now be able to slide that all the way in. So, just to abate my uh, curiosity, I'm going to plug this back into the board. <coughs> um, they look like they go that way. I very doubt, very much doubt this will have solved the problem, but it would be quite remiss of me not to at least try. So, da -da 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 -da, where's... Well, of course, I have the world's shortest USB A to B type, perhaps. Printer cable, basically. So that's going in there. And then I'm going to end this. And... Right, let's... I'll weave this round here and plug it in the laptop. No, there should be some lights and things coming on here, but there are not. And if I plug it in the power supply, there is no power drain. So, let's just unplug it again. Get it unplugged. Out with that and out with that. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh, look, you can see other projects on the floor. No. Right, back to the desk. <laughs> um, somehow I need to uh, get a long enough cable because I want to be able to see that. Um, I really wish I had a... Um, USB extension lead laying about somewhere, but every time I find one, well, I put it somewhere safe and then forget what I've done with it because I'm an idiot. So, let's just chuck this on here like that. Um, you in there. onto voltage across there and there do you know what I think I've got them the wrong way round we reckon that might be a ground yeah what we got here Half a volt. Anything there? Nope. Anything there? Half a volt and... Oh, five volts. So I've got five volts coming in. So where's that? Um, ah, so there's four of those. So that will, the five volt is this one here. So ground to this one at the front here. Gives us five volts. 
Now, I suppose, but I know there's power getting on the board. Um, yep, that's still got five volts. It does say five volt in. I suppose I can um, unplug that for the time being. If you've seen them I took before, you really do understand I don't know how to fault find. Right, that could be a capacitor. I don't know if there's any fuses on here. I'm going to go and have a look and see if I can find anything about this ridiculous board. Back in a bit. Okay, let's play chase the voltage around somewhere shall we i have apparently got to find out if yeah that's quite handy there's me five volts so are we rocking anything over here Not really. <clears throat> Got my five volts there. Got my five volts there. Um, Yeah, we're um three volts there. Do do do. I'm kind of just pottering about. Don't really know what I'm doing, do I? See, I can only find one video of someone fixing one of these on YouTube. I can find very little information about it. But what Chappie did in his video was remove this chip and um, replaced it. But I can't even find this chip as a reference to get it replaced. Oh dear, oh dear. Because, I mean, it says there are some fault detect points. I mean, that looks like a fault detect point. I don't know. Like, that could be a fault detect point. That could, like, or that could actually be the fault detect point where it actually goes up. But, yeah, that seems fine. It's giving me three volts. Um, is there another fault detect? Uh, is it going to be that one? That does not give me any voltage. That does. Got me three volts there. Got me three volts there. <coughs> Plus five. 
But it says on it, it says plus five on there. It doesn't give me plus five. This could be anything, couldn't it? What, why did I think this was a good idea? To have a look at something I have literally no idea about. Right, it's taking power. But beyond that, you know, I kind of expected there to be a fuse or something in here. Um, yeah, I really need to do some more research. Right, I've been nosing at this for ages. Um, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with it, but um, that's kind of quite loose. So, do you know what I might just do? I might just get the soldering iron heated up and solder that in and then maybe go over the pins on the, um, yeah, on everything, really. <laughs> Not everything, you know, but just the, uh, just the power circuit and that thing up in the corner. Let's just, um. Give things a bit more solder. It's a Friday. I'm sure they'd love a little bit of extra solder on them. Aren't you? Yeah. I mean, come on, Pioneer, these things cost a lot of money. Or well, they do when they're brand new. Um, I think this is three generations old now. This is the SB. Well, this is just the DDJ SB. There is an SB2 and an SB3. I know there's an SB2 because I have one at the house. That was a car boot find a couple of summers back. Um, so, hang on. I guess I can try that. <laughs> it's not going to have done anything, is it? But who knows? Who flipping knows? We'll find out. Let's uh, just plug in all these bits back in here. I mean, I think, from what I've been looking around online, these do take the same, like this board is the same in um, this one as it is in the SB2. So what I could do is I, I could go home and get my controller and plug it in and test it. But I'm like, well, do I really want to? I don't know. What I really want to do is plug this in and see if it works. So... Can we have some little lights, please? Go on, go on. No, useless. Well, that didn't help. Oh, well, it seemed like a good idea. But, yeah, we're not getting out. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Oh. We're back. I have taken my... DJ controller apart, and now we have both of these. So this one here has scuffed up around there. So that's uh, the original one. And this one isn't. So let's plug this in. see what happens uh, 
Now that seems really bloody loose. So just poke that in there, fold this up, and then yeah, I need to drag this cable back up here. And what I want to see is some, some lights. But of course, we don't see any lights. So, I'll put that down to the side. I'll get my DJ controller, which is the um, DDJ SB2. And let's plug in the one from the Mate Pools controller. And let's see what happens there. Let's see if we can get some... Uh... Yes! See, we've got lights coming up. So that board works. Um, okay. Now, just to make sure I haven't got them mixed up. I'm going to take this one out. Put it on there. Grab this one. Oh, that's just. I think it's this. I think it's this. Do you know? I really do. Think it might be this. This. Uh... I think there's something sketchy with that. So I'm going to take this one out. Hang on, I'll take this one out. Put one. I'm going to try and put this one in. I'm now starting to get them mixed up. But this is the one from my controller. Like that just feels really loose. I wonder if I um if I can slide a bit of paper in the back of that. Is that that's a bit too a little bit too thick? Where are the scissors? Uh, there must be some scissors that are near to hand. There are. Right, let's try that, or not. I think this is really, really, that is, it's proper knackered. There you go. Right, that's in. It's a bit tighter, but I'm not overly happy about that cable. I'm starting to wonder if that could be 
the reason. Let's uh, let's have a look. <clears throat> See if we get any uh, lights. Nope, still no lights. And then we'll take the other uh, other board. Bang that in there. See, that fits in quite nicely on that side. Bang that one in there. Yep, lights up. So that definitely works. But what I need to do really is get on the desk, get the um, blue one apart. And I suppose I probably need to get my one apart because I want that ribbon cable out. How the heck I'm going to get in there? I'm not really sure because um, if I put this to one side, bring the blue one over here. <clears throat> there are hundreds of screws, um, literally hundreds of bloody screws, and uh, I'm not sure how it's going to come out. So I'll be back in a bit once I've um, worked out how to get this apart. See you soon. I've got that board out. I've had to take off every single knob and dial, etc., to get this board out. So uh, I'm just going to put this to one side and try and plug, let's move all the screws and things out of the way. But let's, um, let's have a little look at this. Right, let's try this again. And we're getting nothing. Oh, hang on. Lights. I had a light then. What was that all about? Oh, right. I'm going to plug this into the computer because that light is sort of coming on. I'm intrigued. Right, that can come off there. I have to find a slightly longer cable because that one's teeny tiny. Now, let's fire up the laptop. Oh, I forgot to bid on something. Never mind. Um, 
Let's fire up the laptop and fire up record box. I'll keep my eye on that, that one. See, that, that light comes on every now and again. Um, but obviously nothing is... Um, Right, so that light definitely comes on and goes off. Right, let me get the other half of the board plugged back in. <clears throat> now that comes through there and uh, this side. So that goes that way, and that comes up and plugs in <clears throat> under here. This is absolutely a nightmare. Right, that is squeezed in where it needs to go there. I'm gonna Quick this back over here. Plug it back into there. And then I want to try and find something so that these do not touch. Because that would not be a good idea. Let's uh find this little bag here. Right, now I want to keep an eye on that light. Lights! Lights are on! It's this cable! It's this stupid ribbon! I'm sure it is! Uh, look at that! All the lights are on! Right, and now they're all off. Um, record box. And it's moving. The controller's actually doing controllery stuff. Well, it was until obviously, right. This is interesting. We're actually getting somewhere. Oh, ha ha right what is this um i mean what can i do about 
that it's not like I can um, do anything with it, is it? I don't know. I mean, I've got this that fell off of the um, other one. Let's um let's try and get that wedged right in there. Wedged in here. Right, can I please have some lights? First time, come on. Yes, you absolute beauty. So this cable here was just really loose and not plugged in properly. And it's gone again. I think we need a new one of these cables. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to take it to bits. And I'm going to see if I can... Order... Some of this, because... Um, what is it? I don't know how to source ribbon cable, so. Focus. 80 volt VW minus one. I've got no idea how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is it 19? Oh, I don't bloody know. Right, I'll have a count up. Give me a minute. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, so 19. Let's see what I can do with that. Okay, I am going to attempt. to scratch the plastic away on this. Probably need a better Stanley knife than this. Even though that's quite new, what's this one like? Um, what's it look like? Right, I'll come back when I've done more of that. Right, there we go. We've exposed quite a lot. I'm going to give that a bit of a clean. Where's the old um, IPA? I've 
I've got no idea if this will work, but it's worth a try. So, yeah, done that, and then I'm going to snip the end off because I am crazy. Although, should I possibly um, get the multimeter out? Yeah, let's get the multimeter out. Before I go chopping ends off and just... Um... Okay, and now let's put that, <clears throat> let's uh, zoom it back out, where's the old, um, ow, I'll just headbutt that shall I, that's a good idea, let's plug it in, Why are you not playing cricket, you stupid multi -mail? There's a lot of grounds along there, isn't there? But they all seem... Um, I'm half wondering I don't know what to half wonder about. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to cut the end off anyway. Just do it. <coughs> Let's do it. <coughs> Where's my little bit of blue plastic? Be the right one. I think I had another one somewhere. Did I did? That is in and staying in. So a 
get to get it plugged in and find out what the crack is. Have I completely bulged it up? Have I not? Have I fixed it? Who knows? We'll find out. Can always buy another cable. Those lights seem to be staying on. Now, let's just have a little look on record box. Controls are working. Controls are working. Nothing is going wrong. The only problem is I am going to have to take that out again. Right, time to get this unplugged. But it would appear that that is the issue. So I'm very disappointed at having to take this out, but take it out, I will have to, because obviously the cable needs to. No, 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 no. Stay, stay, stay. Stay in there. Just plug it back in, make sure it still works. Yep, yeah, lights flashed. Lights flashed. Stay on. Hey, worried little things. Is it this one? That one's quite bent up as well. <sighs> and what I don't want to do is take my one apart just to uh, get all the cables out. Let's um, unplug you for a sec. We make progress, though, of sorts. See, all the power's gone off.
So it could be either cable. As currently that is controlling the DJ setup. Remove that. That doesn't seem to. It's this. It's this bloody one. Right. How do you get all that faffing about? It'd be nice if I had some things with big ribbon cables I could pinch them out of, but besides taking my own deck two pieces, which this one was a pain in the backside enough, I don't really fancy it. Although that seems to have got it. The lights don't. Appear to be going out. Right, do you know what? Let's pop these two and try and flip it over and get them in because. That one needs to go through. Sorry if the camera angle on this is really ridiculous, but um, this isn't exactly how I was planning on doing this, but it's kind of how it is. So, tough. <laughs> Over, plug everything in. Unplug this one because it comes in over the top. I want. This is such a. I pop 3DSs and things apart all the time, and this is fiddly than they are. All right, the parts are all bigger, but it's just. Ugh, I don't like it. I wouldn't take on trying to do one of these as a, a normal repair it's just as it's one of my mates and it's nice to help your friends out here and there and obviously if this doesn't work we will need to pull it back apart and have a look at replacing those ribbon cables so I'm gonna pop that down there Right, 
work out how much of this I can pull through. Any old screw out of this box just to hold this in place. If one of your screwdriver is because what I want to see are the lights coming on and staying on with a couple of good wax to it. Obviously, I've got no idea if they will come on and stay on because that ribbon cable is not exactly the world's greatest. But here we go. Let's see what happens. Lights, lights, lights. You absolute beauty. So, I suppose once it, yeah. Um, just zoom this out a lot. No, I said a lot. I'll grab the uh, laptop. Ah. And if you look here, boop, you can see the, uh, oh, the crossfade is that. Oh, crossfade is not screwed in, but crossfade is working. We've got no platter use because they're not in, but um, yeah, volumes and cues. Do these knobs twiddle? Yep, so we appear to be actually working. Would you, Adam and Eve, it? How? I mean, that's ridiculous. All I've done is uh, kind of bodged it. But now I need to put it back together. Let's just give it another try. Cable in. Lights. Love seeing lights. Love them. They're great. But obviously, uh, the board is loose, so I need to plug it back in. I'll be back. Hey, we're back. All the uh, faders and everything are back in place. The lights are still on. As you can hear, we've got a little bit of a noise going on. If I don't um, mess up, let's uh, put a track on the other deck. Yep. Magic and Superstar. Well, Paul from Rock Family 2020, who you should go and follow. It'll be down in the comments somewhere down there. Um, give him a follow. He's only on a few subscribers, so please, please do subscribe to his channel. And hopefully you'll see this in one of his videos where he uh, plays some good quality classic rock and has a good time so thanks for watching thanks to paul for giving me this to try and sort out and uh hopefully i'll see you all soon in the next one take care bye